Hi everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to create National Park Service style shaded relief using only QGIS. Please note, this video is for people using QGIS to create nice looking maps, not GIS pros doing data analysis. There are already a lot of videos on using the hillshade feature in QGIS, but none of them are complete or explain the entire process, so that's what I'll do here. First of all, what is National Park Service style shaded relief? I've always admired NPS maps for their clarity, and their use of shaded relief is especially good. Here's the Great Smoky Mountains map, and here's the shaded relief for it. What is so great to me about this approach to shaded relief is its subtlety. You get a feel for the terrain, but it doesn't dominate the map or make the information hard to read. This is important when using shaded relief. It's easy to create relief that's too strong and overpowers the rest of the map. Shaded relief should be an enhancement, not the dominant feature. Here's how the National Park Service creates their shaded relief. Here's a DEM after being converted to a hillshade. Next, they add a hue saturation adjustment layer in Photoshop using these settings. Here's the result. The hue saturation layer has lightened the image and reduced the contrast by a substantial amount and given the image a very slight yellow-orange tint. Finally, the Park Service adds a layer with the background and the park area in different colors. Here's that layer, first by itself, and then with the blend mode set to multiply. To me, the most important step in this process is the hue saturation adjustment layer, which lightens and softens the relief. One problem with this approach is that it requires modifying the relief file in Photoshop after the map has been exported as an SVG and open in Illustrator. Instead of bothering with that, you can get the same effect in QGIS. Here's how. I'll start with this elevation file of the area around Estes Park, Colorado, which has some interesting terrain. This is a USGS 30 meter DEM. First, I'll run the hillshade operation with the default settings. It's extremely dark and rough. Let's try that again. This time we'll change the Z factor from 1 to 0 0.0001. It's not as dark, but it's still pretty rough. I'll run Hillshade again and add another zero to the Z factor. 0 0.00001, four zeros. That looks good, and it's pretty close to the starting NPS DEM image. Next, open the layer properties for the Hillshade layer. I'll double click on the layer to do that, or you can use the layers menu if you prefer. I'll adjust these settings. Brightness to 85, gamma to 2.0, contrast to minus 25, and I'll set the resampling to bilinear. The result is much lighter and far less harsh. If you're happy with this, you can stop right here. You can then overlay this with a vector layer. To add the light tint of the NPS relief, open the Layer Properties window again. Check the Colorize box and click on the color bar. Enter pound sign FCE 6BA in the HTML box, then set the strength to about 65%. And now you have NPS style shaded relief, which is much more attractive and useful for most maps. Don't forget to save the hillshade layer as a regular layer. Now that our relief looks good, I'll add some vector layers. For the city boundary, lakes, and parks, I'll set the blend mode to multiply. I'll also add a blue tint to the relief to suggest a winter feel. I'll turn the vector layers off for now. I'll open layer properties for the hillshade layer and click colorize and select a blue color. I'll leave the strength at 100% and see how it looks. Looks good. Now I'll turn the vector layers back on. And there is our finished map. Here it is with the original shaded relief, and now with our improved relief. 
Sometimes you might want the relief to be even softer than this. There are several ways to do that. Here's the first method. When you export the map and open it in Illustrator, you can select the relief layer and apply a blur to it. You can also do this in Inkscape. Here are the steps. Open the SVG file in Illustrator and delete the bounding boxes. Set your document resolution correctly. If this is a print project, go to File, Document Setup, and set the resolution to high. Also go to Effect, Document Raster Effect Settings, and set it to high. Go to Effect, Rasterize, and set the resolution to 300. Under Options, set Anti-Aliasing to Art Optimized. Now go to Effect Blur, Gaussian Blur, and try low values to start, then adjust as needed. The other way to get a smoother look is to resample the data at a different spatial resolution. Keep in mind that for spatial resolution, a higher number means a lower level of detail, so a 90 meter DEM has less detail than a 30 meter one. This method works entirely inside QGIS. To do this, we'll work with an original raw data DEM file. There are a couple of ways to do resampling in QGIS, but this is the easiest method for me. You also need to set a projection for the project, so do that now. Don't use WGS84. This procedure works on unprojected data, but it's more complicated. I've already set the project CRS to the Colorado State Plane. Right-click on the original DEM layer, not the Hillshade one, and go to Export Save As. The Save Raster Layer window appears. The settings here are important. Set Output Mode to Raw Data, and format to GeoTIFF. Click on the little box to add a file name and save it, and then set the CRS to Project CRS. The Resolution section shows the current spatial resolution of the data. I'm not sure what the unit of measurement is here, but I think it's feet. This is a 30 meter file, or about 90 feet, so 90 is between these two numbers. We'll change these numbers to something higher to reduce the level of detail in the data. You can change these values by any factor you want, such as multiplying them both by the same number, but a really easy way is to just move the decimal point one place to the right. In my example here, I'll change these values from 77.4245 and 101.21 to 774.245 and 101.2. Click OK and you'll see your resampled DEM. The new image is really pixelated, so we'll fix that now. Double click on the new layer to open the Layer Properties window and set the resampling to Bilinear, then click OK. The image isn't pixelated anymore. Now we'll run the Hillshade procedure on this file, but this time leave the Z factor at 1. When it's done, it still looks kind of pixelated, so we'll open the Layer Properties window again and set the resampling to Bilinear again. I'll also make the same adjustments as before. Brightness to 85, Gamma to 2.0, and Contrast to minus 25. Then I'll click OK. Now we have slightly blurred shaded relief that makes a great addition to any map. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you the next time.